and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you'll get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're going to take a look at a new style by Andy. This is called Joy and the color on this one is Sparkling Champagne. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start taking a look at this really pretty Joy by Envy. And like I said, the color on this one is Sparkling Champagne. So Joy is a new style for 2022 that has just recently come out. And um, this is regular synthetic fiber. So you are going to see that sheen, especially with these blondes. You know, you would need to tone that down probably with some dry shampoo or after a few washings, it tends to, you know, get a little more dull or you can put some powder on it or whatever. But um, so... I just need y'all to know in the comments, I don't need you to tell me how shiny the wig is. It's a brand new synthetic. It's fresh out of the box. <laughs> so yes, it's a little shiny, okay? That has just been a thing lately. Like everybody's like, your wig's too shiny. I'm like, what can I say? It's synthetic. It just came out of the box. It's brand new, you know? So anyway, but those are some things you can do. You can use your dry shampoo. You can use a little um, powder, you know, and uh, a little cornstarch actually and uh, just brush it in there, you know, with a makeup brush or whatever, and you can tone that shine down very, very easily. So don't be alarmed about that or, you know, have any fear of these regular synthetic wigs. So they are just, these fibers are coated with silicone. And so, you know, the good thing about that is it helps keep them, it helps the fibers last longer. It helps keep them from clumping and things like that, but it does give them a sheen. And so that is just a trade-off, you know, for having these fibers. So anyway, so Joy's really, really a pretty style as she has some layers and a little, you know, extra length here in the back. It's interesting because when the hair is back, she looks like she's more medium length, but then you bring that back, <laughs> that length from the back end and, and you can see that she's a little bit longer. So, so really, really pretty. She does have a long bang. I think this bang membership, membership measurement is about five and a half, uh, 5.5 five inches or something like that. And um, so if you wanted full forehead coverage, you know, you would need to trim those bangs, but they side swoop away from the face really, really nicely. She's a lace front with a left mono part. The mono part goes all the way back to the crown, which I'll show you in just a minute. So, so really, really pretty. So I'll do a, a turn so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specs. So here we are from the front. Here's my left. The back. my right and then back to the front okay so like I said she is a lace front so we'll get in closer here so you can see the lace front the sparkling champagne is a rooted color so it does have a darker root not super dark they describe it as a medium brown which I think is accurate uh, but the knotting is a little bit larger than it is on some other brands and so you know you can decide how you feel about that knotting that's why I like to get in close so that you can really see the lace front. Now, the way the bang hangs, remember, you know, it's not going to really show that much. So it's not, it's really not too bad. And what you could do is right here at the part, you could pluck out, you know, a little bit, a few of those fibers and get rid of those knots, you know, if you feel like they're too obvious. So, okay, we can look at the part here. The part is partially open. It's a little hard to open. But like I said, it's a left mono part. It goes all the way back to the crown. So I'll show you that when I take it off. So, okay, so measurement wise for Joy, we have 5.5 inch layer here in the front. We have a 10.25 inch from the crown. We have 11.25 inch on the sides. And her nape back here is 12 and a quarter, 12.25 inches. Weight wise, she's coming in at 4.7 ounces. So very, very lightweight. So I will pop her off so you can see her interior cap construction. Okay, so there is that part up there. Still some zigzagging, it was a little hard to get out, so. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about, about that left mono part. Goes all the way back to the crown, which looks really, really nice. Gives you a very natural appearance there for your part. And then she has a lace front. Her lace front is, you know, a little bit thin, a little bit skinny, but, um, you know, it's adequate. Up here, we just have some closed 
wefting and maybe a little bit of permatease. We'll have to flip her inside out and check it, check that out because I didn't look at that too closely. So, okay, soft felt ear tabs. As you can see also that lace front extends down to onto those ear tabs, which is nice. Gives you really, really nice coverage across the forehead. And she's got, there's metal in that ear tab as well to keep that flush against your face. And I need to show you the ear tabs I just remembered. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I have some allergies today and I'm kind of out of it. So, okay. Open wefted all through the cap. Extended soft felt nape. She has the pull adjusters. So let's check for permatease here first. Um, I'm not really seeing any permatease. I always have to feel it and see if it's in the wig or not. There might just be a slight bit right where the weft's attached to the cat, but it's not bad. So here, I'll pop her back on and I'll show you those ear tabs. I showed you the lace front and forgot to show you the ear tabs. So, and I'll talk about the fit as well, because I know I have a lot of smaller headed friends and larger headed friends. So who watch my videos. Okay, so here are those ear tabs. I've got good coverage. So this is an average size cat. And I am petite, as you know, so good coverage with those ear tabs. So as far as the ear to ear measurement, this is fitting me just fine, but there's definitely, it definitely fits average and average plus because there's definitely a lot of, you know, extra room back here in the cap, not too much for my petite head, but I would probably be most comfortable in this one, taping down my lace front or wearing a wig grip just to make it, you know, fit my petite head better, so. Okay, let's take a look at this pretty color. So like I said, this is sparkling champagne. You can see some different colors going through with those blondes. You can see that it's rooted. So the description for sparkling champagne is a blend of lightest golden blonde, medium golden blonde, and light ash blonde with platinum highlights and medium brown roots. So we've got three blondes, a golden blonde, light and a medium golden blonde, and a light ash blonde with a platinum going through there. So as the light catches it, step away a little bit so it's not, it's one thing about these blondes with my lights, they, you know, the color tends to, or the light tends to bounce off of the color, but you can see the variation in those blondes. And then, like I said, you're got, you've got this medium brown root. So you're gonna see that rooting all the way around your face. And they stuck with the rooting color pretty much. There's a few highlights there at the front, but they pretty much stuck with the rooting color all around the face. So anywhere you separate the hair for styling, you're gonna see that root color. You're gonna see it under here on the nape as well. Let's see if we can show you that. And I do feel some permatease down here, right along the nape there. So just to give it you know, a little bit of volume, that's pretty common, so. So this is just with the overhead room lighting. So you can see that variation in those blondes. we can look at glasses and styling and all that. I did want to point out one more thing that I didn't mention about this color is whenever you have this long hair that's in the back, when you have it, you know, towards the front, you can see this, that light golden brown that's in the color. So just to point that out so you can see that. So if you're, you know, I just want to point that out because if you're someone that likes a blonde but doesn't want to see like any kind of a you know golden brown in it this color at least on this particular wig you do see that and you know it's certainly wouldn't be uncommon to have the hair up like this you know where it was 
you know, at the front, you know, so you definitely can see that whenever you flip the hair, you know, towards the front, so. And you can see it on the back too, on the ends. Okay, so let's look at glasses and all that kind of stuff. So, so she's low density. I really like the density. So easy to tuck behind the ears. Glasses are super easy. Her ear tabs are flat, you know, flat, flush against my head. They go up the, on the head very easily. She's really pretty to style with all these layers. So you can put a headband in and since that bang, you know, it'll, it's gonna stay, it won't all go, well, you could get it all to go back behind there. You know, if you just needed it out of your way so you can look down and that kind of thing. But you can also just pull that bang out. And like I said, I like the way it's side sweeping over to the side, you know, so, and it's still not really, it's not bad about being a face, a face popper, which I've been really, really happy with. So as you can see, you know, I have to really shake my head to get it to really flop in my face. So, so it's really not too bad. And this is pretty much straight out of the box. I just, you know, ran my wide tooth comb through her and did my best to get that part open. So, you know, so anyway, she looks really, really cute like that. And of course you could pull out more hair around the face with a headband. So however you want to do it. And then she's really cute half up, half down here. And again, you're gonna have that bang layer that's gonna stay right along the face, which is pretty, just frames the face really nicely. And then of course, with this length, you can do ponytails and she's low density. She has a very, very natural looking ponytail and with the extended nape, that's so nice whenever you wanna put the wig up. So, looks really cute. And then of course you could twist, you could braid, you could do all kinds of, you know, pretty updos. You could bring some more hair down here in the back, you know, just some little tendrils of hair. And so she's really pretty. She's very, very versatile. So really nice, uh, pretty addition to the Envy line. So, so I wanna thank Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information in the info section underneath this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.